ఎటువంటి సమ్మిట్ ని రైట్ టైమ్ లో రైట్ కంట్రీ నిర్వహిస్తోందని అన్నారు బ్రిటిష్ ప్రధాని రిషి సునాక్ విభిన్న అంశాలపై మాట్లాడబోతున్నామని ఆయన ఉత్సాహంగా చెప్పారు మంచి నిర్ణయాలు మంచి తీర్మానాలు ఉండబోతున్నాయని అన్నారు వన్ ఫ్యామిలీ అనేది గొప్ప థీమ్ అన్నారు ఇండియన్లు అభిమానించే తనకు ఇదొక ప్రత్యేక ఆహ్వానమని అన్నారు రిషి సునాక్ a warm welcome it's fantastic for me to be back in india obviously it's personally very special for me to be here particularly with akshita and we thoroughly enjoyed the first few hours of our trip so far and now when it comes to ukraine and russia and the conflict one thing i will be doing is highlighting that the devastating impact that russia's illegal invasion is having on millions of people around the world particularly on food prices uh, russia recently has pulled out of a grain deal that was shipping grain from ukraine to many poor countries around the world and now you've seen food prices go up that's causing suffering for millions of people it's not right and one of the things I'll be doing is making people aware of that impact of uh, Russia's illegal war so do you think it will have an impact on will cast a shadow on the consensus will do you think there will be problem the final outcome of G20 no i think there'll be many things that we'll be discussing here at the G20 under india's leadership and i'm confident that we'll make very good progress on a range of different issues i think G20 has been a huge success for india it's india is a right country at the right time to be hosting this uh, and i feel we're going to have a very good couple of days of deliberations and decisions made how do you like the theme of one family But, I think it's a it's a great theme and actually when you say one family you know I I'm an example of the incredible living bridge that Prime Minister Modi described between the UK and India you know that almost 2 million people like me in the UK of Indian origin so it's very special for me to be here as British Prime Minister um you know in the country where my family are from so can you give us some sense of a connect with India like your roots here what well, so. Well, I, you know, obviously, you know, my my wife is from here from Bangalore. We got married in in Bangalore. We used to spend lots of time together uh be, before we had children in Delhi and we're trying to figure out if we can go to one of our our old favorite restaurants this evening. Um but look, it's it's personally incredibly special for me to be back in India. It's a country I love dearly, a country where my family are from. Uh, but to come here in this role to represent the UK to find ways to forge closer links with India and play a part in making sure that India has an incredibly successful G20 and I'm very proud to see India doing so well on the world stage so coming to the bilateral part of it a free trade agreement is underway uh, under discussion between the two countries how soon can we expect to complete well both uh, modi ji and i are keen to see a comprehensive and ambitious trade deal concluded between our two countries both of us think that there is a good deal to be done but trade deals always take time they need to work for both countries and although we've made enormous progress there is still hard work to go uh, and that's what we need to keep going through the g20 is is not the the forum for those discussions of course i will touch on that with prime minister modi uh, but the teams are working very hard but there's as i said there's there's hard work to go but we will keep working through it but i think there is an enormous opportunity for both india and the uk to strengthen our economic cooperation which will bring real benefits to our citizens in both countries can you tell us something about your equation with prime minister modi the person you have met him a couple of times now yes and i have enormous respect for modi ji and he's been personally very warm and kind to me and we're working very hard as i said on our shared ambition of concluding an ambitious and comprehensive trade deal uh, between india and the uk because both of us think that would be a good thing and both of us need to make